city to the northern suburbs, so very hard commuting in from the northern suburbs after 7 o'clock. And then 7, 8, 9, even still some heavy downpours coming in. This is all steady at least until noontime. At noontime, it tries to lighten up, but still on and off until 5 and ends with some pretty good thunderstorms. And then at the very end of this, the wind will shift out of the northwest, colder air, a little bit of some snow showers. And as we get into Saturday, it's just some instability. That's not a major storm by any stretch of the imagination. So there you go. Some city to this one. We get into the thick of the storm through midnight. We have rain heavy at times as well as these strong gusty winds. Winds sustain 20 to 30 miles per hour. Wind gusts up around 55 to 60 miles per hour. It's a crazy, crazy day out there. Here's some heavy rain down in Ocean County. I want to show you what we're seeing. You can see how it's coming down pretty hard at this point. But I want to focus in on this heavy rain south of the city at this point. So if you are driving up and you're anywhere along the shore from Asbury Park all the way down to Belmar, Point Pleasant, it is coming down hard right now. Rumson, Highlands, uh, Kingsburg, this is where it is moving up towards Perth Amboy as well. So here comes our storm. It's on and off the entire day today. We're looking at rain. It's when we get in 9, 10 o'clock this morning. The winds are really going to start to howl. But we've got the rain. It's coming down hard. If you haven't looked out your window, a lot of these roadways not yet flooded. It's only 447, but I think by 6 o'clock, there's going to be a lot of problems getting around on the roads. All right, let's first focus in here, uh, just to the south of the city. This is where it's coming down pretty hard from Red Bank up to Kingsburg at this point, all the way, very close to around the Linden area. So we have this heavy pocket coming in, and this is, of course, very close to Staten Island as well. Then Nassau and Suffolk County, all of this rain is moving up and into your area. So Bayport, be prepared. Brentwood, it's going to start coming down hard. Same thing in Comac, back towards Hicksville, back towards Levittown. We've got the heavy rain poised to move into this area. It's just to the south of you, out in the Atlantic, but you can see already these little pockets of heavy downpours starting to occur. In and around the five boroughs right now, the rain is light. We've seen the rain start to move in. Really, it was around 9, 10 o'clock, and we're just now getting into the thick of the heavy rain that is sitting just to the south of the city. But we have a long area of wars and thunderstorms. We have rain heavy at times. This is an inch of rain, potentially uh, up to two inches of rain in this area highlighted in purple. That's actually closer to the center of the low. So you can see how the center of the low tracks just to the north. It pulls up the warm air, which is why we are looking at all rain. Wow, over towards Litchfield County and Hartford, that's two, three inches of rain. Now the north, by the way, to the north of the system, that's where we'll see heavy snow. If you're a skier, this is an absolutely gorgeous weekend. As the storm pulls out here, literally just to the north of the Tappan Zee Bridge, you'll see a light amount of snow, maybe an inch or so accumulate as the storm pulls out. But the nine, ten, that's because the rain has just started there. But generally about a third to about a half an inch of rain. This is what I was talking about. So here's our storm. Back off to the west, we've got a couple of breaks, but we've got plenty of heavy rain to get through uh, until then. The center of low pressure right here. Here's how it plays out. So o'clock this morning, still widespread heavy rain across the area. Then we see, you see those broken clouds. That's what I wanted to point out there. By 10 o'clock, still some heavy rain coming through the area. By noon, and it's like, eh, maybe it's over. Not so. That's when we have the possibility around 3.30 of this line of strong thunderstorms coming through the area. After the strong thunderstorms, the winds shift, the air turns much colder, and you'll get some snow showers. And then the storm finally moves out of here. Here's the full five-day forecast.